Hello, Sun Person. I've recently developed a new solar controller with the help of Richard Helliger to maximize heat gain for a solar heating system. I call this controller the JCDC, or John Canavan Differential Controller. It's used to turn on a pump when collector temperature is higher than storage tank temperature. This controller is rugged, easy to assemble, and stable. It responds to an adjustable temperature differential and also provides a continuous display of both collector and storage temperatures. The JCDC works great with a 12 volt photovoltaic power supply buffered with a 12 volt car battery. A battery protect circuit is built into the JCDC to shut off the pump in case a problem occurs, or the sunlight is insufficient to keep the battery charged. This controller can also be used to power an AC pump, but it has been specially designed to work in harmony with a photovoltaic power supply buffered with a car battery. All right, what we have here is something that some people call it a solar controller. It's actually a differential controller that uh, turns a pump on when a difference in temperature is sensed. Uh, the nice thing about this particular differential controller is we can actually see the temperature on the collector. Uh, in this case, the temperature on the collector would be 76.9 degrees. And this would be the collector probe. We also have, can sense the um, temperature in the storage tank. Uh, the storage tank temperature right now is 72.7 degrees, and this is the storage tank probe. All right, uh, the first thing we want to do is turn on our pump. Now, the on time is already preset at about uh, a, a differential of 20 degrees. In other words, the difference in temperature between the storage tank and the collector uh, has to be about 20 degrees in order to turn the pump on, which is a, a, a nice setting. That's why I chose that. All right, so we're going to turn it on, and we'll see at what temperature uh, it comes off. Now, uh, we said the differential is, is 20, so the storage tank temperature is 72. That means that the pump should come on when the collector reaches 92. Okay? Approximately. Don't hold me. Don't hold me. Okay. 93. Alright. So when the collector reached 93 degrees, it came on now, and it went off when it, when it reached 90 degrees. So, uh, there's not much of an off time. Now, that isn't, that isn't really too good. If we have a situation like that, we're going to have a pump that's going on and off, on and off all the time. And we're not going to be collecting that much heat. We want the, uh, the temperature of the collector to approach the storage tank temperature. So, uh, we have this adjustment here with our potentiometer. I'm going to turn it all the way to the left so we get the minimum uh, differential off setting. Okay, now let's try it. Okay, so right now the temperature in our collector is 79.7 degrees. Now let's increase the temperature. Now the the on time should still be about 92 or 93 degrees. Let's see if we get that. All right, so at about 93 degrees it comes on, but the off differential is minimized. So we expect the temperature in the collector to get much closer to the storage turning temperature in order to turn the pump off. It's already down to 85 degrees. Okay. We can also increase the temperature in the storage tank a little bit by... I put my little thumb on it there. Uh, 75. Okay. Now, let's see. All right, so there's about a 5 degree differential now. The pump is still on. Okay. So it's getting very close to the storage tank temperature. When will it go off? All right. So 
So when the temperature difference is between 4 and 5 degrees, uh, the uh, pump shuts off. And uh, don't forget, you can adjust uh, this uh, differential off setting with this uh, little potentiometer right here for your particular uh, case. But, but that's, a, that's a fairly good setting in, in most cases. All right. Anyway, uh, this is the basic idea of a differential controller uh, using uh, integrated circuit LM34 sensors so that we can actually monitor the collector temperature and the storage tank temperature. Now this particular uh, model also has a feature that uh, shuts down when the battery voltage drops too low. This is called a battery protect circuit. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice little uh, differential controller. The, uh, the relay is capable of powering a uh, pump that uh, draws as much as 800 watts and uh, it can be used. It's designed specifically for DC applications but this can also be used to drive an AC pump. Okay, for more information about this check out www.jc-solarhomes.com. Thank you.